17 games played, nearly a 65% win rate on the pick overall in his career. It has been something that he's gone back towards numerous times and sets up well for what G2 are trying to do with Mickey, because I think a couple more of those Mystic shots would have spelled disaster for him, but we'll be able to hold on to those summoner spells. Will be the push as level two and a hit. Mickey! Oh, Mickey! Engaged and getting the lock down from a bad start to now a great fall. First blood. And Mickey's back. Confident. He flashes in without a moment's hesitation after getting level two and connects onto ice. The cleanse offered no real value in that Absolutely. situation. Woo! But this is an environment like we talked about the mental. Wait, 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 wait. You, you was still tanking up the minions. He was forced to flash. Caps re engaged, but now Sheo sets his sights on the mid lane. A pot comes through for Caps. Running. But you can see how G2 are playing there. Level six is starting to come through. Means that with these ultimates available, Wait. these hooks like in Kick. this game. Being a bit wary of Yike, I think. Not only from season finals, the end of summer as well. We're thinking what forms is going to be. And Arrow pauses me and hits. Nuke locked. Caps flash. Nuke dead. That arrow. These actions unreal. Uh, been able to cover too much, and Mickey is just in their off. face. Dragon being taken, Lebrov, you're right, it tries to get predicted by Mickey as he waits out the cooldown. True Shot Barrage for the steal, but it's a smite down from Yike. Two dragons for G2 in the early game. I wonder if he was close to the Blade oh, of the Ring King upgrades. Yike looking to contest, though. This might be bad for him, but it's not enough. Hello. He's fully committing, but the Blast Cone's taken. He's ended up in Narnia! Death Charge, lock up, lock down, caps here for the TP, and Shao gives the kill over. Call an ambulance, but it ain't for Yike. It's no easy feat to break through once they get that animization. What's important is that they're able to control the bleeding as much as they can, and this is not good for controlling that bleeding. It's not. He's got to get out. He needs help, but oh. he's dead. How many times this series have we seen Lebrov die? But dueling and Caps already there at his second item. Caps has got a bounty again, and while CS is even, there's so much gold. Just keeps going over to this Tristana with four grubs. They just got Dragon as well. Every time I look at the map or the game, Shea was nearby and. Ulti out. Meanwhile, Bot is in severe danger. It's the Ralph Wiggum of Bot Lane with the Herald charging Wait, in. Look top as well. You're right on multiple angles, but the Cassante ult makes it even worse here as the 1v1 is happening. Look towards the top, the flash away, and you gets out, but Broken Blade almost solo kills while Bot turret. They find a moment of reprieve as they're able to deny the soul, get a bounty. Unfortunately, G2 set their sights on the mid-tier two. Yeah, Cap's gonna be able to take that, but it was Caps who was a little bit late to the party, hadn't TP back in, wanted to reset before he did. Now, oh, Adam, Adam wait a second. running in, G2 with a massive turn, Adam caught out and flashes away. Maximum dosage, Lil launches, Caps jumps in as well, oh, in trouble, in danger! BDS lure it in. It's a nature scrap from Shea, but in the back line, they've already lost eyes. They're looking for Caps, but LeBron can't do it. BDS, they're fading, they're falling. The reverse sweep is crawling, and I really do think BDS are indeed cursed. BDS fans are bawling as they look at their screens. An ace for G2, and with that, it feels like once more G2 will find their way to Munich. They're gonna take the inhibitor. The death timers were only 24 minutes in. BDS don't have a kill. BDS don't have a tower. They are. Is the last to fall. An inhibitor falls. Oh man. And you can see the reality setting in. BDS know the situation that they find themselves the in. better of them. And now Mad Lions must be grinning from ear to ear. You know, they're looking at a world spot yet again as G2 start the Baron and BDS off on the edge here. We're only going to find out now. Shao needs that said miracle dag to ask, but will we receive? Chains in. Shao disengaged. Mickey sacrifices his life, but Baron goes down to Yike as close as that true shot barrage is. And it goes from bad no, to good. Not that. Bad. No. <laughs> the red buff now being contested. I don't think that red buff belongs to you, BDS. Mickey thinking about a hex flash over the wall. Ghost has popped broken blades there. Dredge line into Adam, and he ain't as tanky as he feels. His arrow will fly short, but the brand ult will not. Petrifying Gazo from Nuke gives options, but flash away from Han. Sama keeps him alive. Nukes Cassiopeia, while it looked great in the draft, hasn't been able to play the game.
He ends up falling, Lebrov ends up falling. The wall that was BDS's top side has crumbled. And now with the Baron buff, G2 set their sights on the second inhibitor and maybe even the game. I mean, now the death timers are long enough. Inhibitor's gonna start it off. I mean, it, BDS were given this window of hope and G2 are quick to close it as the engage comes from Sheo. G2 battle down an access turret to lock BDS out of Munich, of season finals and out of Worlds. They're paving a road and G2, nobody will get in their way as they lock in their place at Munich and once again define this region. An incredible reverse sweep for G2. When they looked down and out, it felt like that they had no options. They were able to, that is, G2 has stood in their way at every step. Yeah, I know, I mean, Caps on the Tristana was absolutely insane, and you can vote for him of your player of the series if you want to, at LEC on X alongside Yike and Han Sama. But honestly, impeccable.